Claire Blumenthal. Right. I want you to tell me about your children, your grandchildren, your husband. All right, I'll tell you. I The thing that I am most proud of in my life is my relationship that I had with my mother. I brought my parents so much pleasure, and I know that sounds egotistical, but I was the, their middle child, and I always had a happy disposition, and I brought them so much pleasure. So actually, that is the thing I am most proud of. But I'm also proud of my four children, who are all nice, they're productive, and they are very concerned and very interested in everything that I do. And uh, my oldest boy lives in Atlanta, and he is a psychologist, and he is very attentive. His name? His name is Dr. Richard Blue. And then he calls me often, at least once a day, to see if everything's okay. Then my second son, which is Dr. James Blue. He's a retired neurosurgeon, and I'm very proud of him, too. And he has three lovely two girls. And Rick has a, da a daughter who has a serious boyfriend and a son in California. Then my third child is Lisa, my daughter. And it's wonderful to have a daughter because she's like your girlfriend. And we talk about makeup and what looks good on who, and when I think that she could do better with some things with her baby, she's the one who has the new baby, I tell her and she never resents it. For example, I heard her, her housekeeper telling the baby to put down, sit down, put, uh, put your butt down, put your butt down. Well, I said, I think that's vulgar, and I think you should we should not let her in, in, uh, we shouldn't um, encourage that. Think of something else to say, tushy, but don't say but because that's crude. And she never gets mad at me, whatever I tell her. She listens. And then there's my fourth child. He's the one who has an MBA from Wake Forest, and he has no children. He has a, a dog. He has a uh, golden retriever and a nice wife, and they both work. She sells carpet. She is remarkable in that she uh, weighs about 100 pounds, and she puts all these rug samples in the back of her car, and she drives all the way down to Mississippi, Louisiana, and goes to these small towns and where they buy her the rugs, and she does very well. And he is uh, the one who uh, has an MBA from Wake Forest. He a, has a business. He's the only one in it. It's his business. He's been in the business world, and he doesn't like it. He doesn't like what happens in the corporate world. So he, he, he um, uh, what's the word I want? He, uh, he sells to all these um, convenience stores. And he's such a gentleman, and he's so sweet and nice that they don't even question anything. They'll say, John, look around and see if we need anything and put it in there and give us a bill, and they pay him on the spot, and he has a wonderful reputation, and he calls me off. They all call me often, which is very sweet. And if you were a nice person, you would send me a check once a month. And about your grandchildren, including the ones that are coming? Uh, uh, well, my oldest grandchild is married. She's the only married one. She lives in Seattle. Her name? Her name is Michelle. And she is one who speaks French and Chinese. And so... Uh, she, they are hoping to have a family, and she has, Jim, her father, is a wonderful father. He is very involved with his children, and uh, the other ones are not as involved. 
And then the second, uh, he, the, that's the second son, Jim, the one who's a doctor. And uh, he takes pictures like this all the time. He's got, he's done family histories and all kind of wonderful things. And the, he has two more daughters. One is 23. Her name is Stephanie. And she's a graduate of um, Vanderbilt. And she had her third year in Australia. And now the third daughter is 15, and she's the beauty queen, and she's in everything. And uh, the parents are very involved in all her activities. So they have good parents. And uh, then there's, uh, that's the, th then the third uh, one is Lisa, my daughter, who has been married about 25 years, and she's the one that has the new baby and is going to have twins in uh, July. So she'll have three daughters at one time, three babies, never having had a child. But she still will continue her lessons. She's fortunate in that she can afford whatever she wants. And she has round-the-clock nannies and a big house in Dallas. Her husband's a very successful attorney. His name? His name is Fred Barron, and he works hard for John Edwards. But John Edwards' wife is very sick. And uh, anyway, he has an office, and he has two cases coming up, and Lisa's happy now to go home and see the babies, the baby. And she will have three daughters, from no, no children to three daughters. And she... Uh, speaks all over the country. And then she, in fact, she, I don't know if you've ever heard of Lance Armstrong. He's mm -hmm. uh, a client of hers. And they just had a case which she won, and she donated her uh, money to his, um, to his um, fund for cancer victims. And then we don't want to forget Buddy Blumenthal because he's the best one in the family. Buddy? Buddy, look here. Buddy, let him see how funny you look. Buddy, good boy. <laughs> and goodbye, family. And it's not goodbye ever. We're always going to be aware of each other and care about each other and help each other. And I'm so happy to have these two new friends who are going to be very special in my life. And thank you for all this.